العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين باب الصدقات وعمل الخير chapter about doing صدقة and doing a good deed I will read a couple of the hadith of the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام and we're starting with the hadith of Adi bin Hatim may Allah be pleased with him he said قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said اتقوا النار ولو بشق تمرة فمن لم يجد فبكلمة طيبة put a barrier between you and the hellfire even if it this barrier will be uh, one half of the date and if you don't even have something like that to do sotaka in another word he telling us one way to protect ourselves from the hellfire is to do sotaka regardless how little what you got it is and if you don't have anything to give away in charity you can find another way to do sotaka and what is that just saying a good word is a sadaqa already. When we open our mouth and what we say is a good way, this is a, a sadaqa which we can protect ourselves from the hellfire in case we don't have anything to give in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Abi Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Qala li an nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said to me, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا ولو أن تلقى أخاك بوجه طليق Do not belittle any good thing Whatever you can do as it is good you just do it Don't fail to do something good At least if you can do nothing at all Meeting your brothers with a very pleasant face is something good already When we meet the people and we give salam to them and, and we show happiness in their face and smile to them, this is a sadaqa already, which means Islam always, you do your best to bring happiness around. And if you have nothing to do at all, even looking to the people in a good way is one way to have a good deed. Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Qala Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, Ala kulli muslimin sadaqa. On every Muslim, there is a sadaqa. It means every Muslim should not fail to do charity or give charity away. Qala, Abu Musa said, Aru'ayta in lam yajid. O Messenger of Allah, what about if somebody has nothing at all to give away in charity? Qala, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Ya'amalu bi yadayhi fa yamfa'u nafsahu wa yata sadaq. He should use his two hands to work. In another way, look for a job, look for something to do. And once you do that, you will benefit yourself and your family. And then you have extra, you will give sadaqa out of your hard work. <coughs> Qala. Then Abu Musa said, Aru'ayta in lam yastati. What about if somebody could not work and earn anything at all? Qala. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Yu'ainu dhal hajati al malhuv. He should then help someone who is struggling to achieve something. If you have any means to help them do it, even with a good advice, oh brother, I know what you want. I can do nothing, but I can advise you in words how to help you do what you want to do. I mean, help anybody in whatever way to achieve what they are struggling to achieve. Qala, then Abu Musa said, Aru'ayta illam yastati dhalik. What about if he could not even do that? Qala, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Ya'muru bil ma'aruf, awil khair. At least, tell the people to do something which you know that if they do it, it is good. Just to say a way to encourage people to do something good. Qala, Abu Musa said, Aru'ayta illam yaf'al. What about if the person did not do even that one? Qala, yumsiku an sharri fa innaha sadaqa. If you cannot benefit the people in whatever way, the sadaqah that you can do is to make sure that if you cannot benefit them, do not harm them. If the people cannot get anything good from you, at least make sure they are safe from you in whatever uh, activity you have in your life. And that is the minimum sadaqah somebody can do to stop my evil and all from harming other people. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك